Castle Perilous Games and Books is the largest game store in Southern Illinois, offering over 100 different role-playing games, 200 different board games, a large selection of current and back-issue comics, as well as Games Workshop, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Castle Perilous is located in Carbondale, Illinois. Okay, my name's Scott Thorne. I'm the owner here at Castle Perilous Games and Books over in Carbondale. I'm also an instructor in the Management and Marketing Department at Southeast Missouri State University in Cape Girardeau. Okay, we specialize in tabletop games, board games such as Settlers of Catan, Power Grid, uh, Sheep Deluxe, Sushi Go. Uh, we started off dealing in role-playing games such as Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, Dark Heresy, Tunnels and Trolls, but gradually over the years we've shifted more of an emphasis to board games, miniatures games such as War Machine and Warhammer 40,000, uh, and especially Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, which really took off back during the, late, during the mid to late 90s. We opened in February of 1990 in the Island Building, which is a two-story building in downtown Carbondale. In 2007, we moved out of that building up to this uh, much larger 4,000 square foot location. Uh, I oversee all the operations uh, for the business. We have about one, I have one full-time employee and five uh, part-time employees, uh, most of whom are students. Well, originally we started off strongly focusing on the university. When we opened up, uh, it was a given that a game store could not succeed unless it opened up in a community with either A, a university, or B, a army or armed forces post nearby because we, the people who were buying these products were young males about ages 18 to 20, in other words, 25. In other words, people who were going to college or who had enlisted in the armed forces. Over time, we've expanded out and more into the community. The board, as the board games have grown, we've seen more interest in it from the people locally. When we started, we probably, it was about 70% college student, 30% local residents. Now it's flipped around to about 60% local residents, 40% college students. Uh, we expand, we uh, hold monthly gaming sessions at the local Boys and Girls Club. We're a member of the uh, Chamber of Commerce. We're also a member of the Main Street organization, uh, sit on the Sustainability Corporation. We work, try to join and work with lots of organizations. We're willing to donate a product uh, for prizes or events to anybody who comes and asks for us. We're working with a couple of the local schools to uh, demonstrate magic and other games in the stores as well. We run magic tournaments, one, two, three, Four days a week, we do Yu-Gi-Oh! on Saturday afternoons. We play Pokemon Monday nights. Uh, we do board gaming on Sunday afternoons and Saturday evenings. And we do miniatures gaming for the War Machine, the Warhammer 40K on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights. I started teaching about the same time that I opened up the store. And one of the reasons I wanted to open up the store was to try to put concepts and theories uh, from uh, what I had learned in the field of business and what I was teaching my students to uh, into practice here at the university. I'm one of the one of uh, what they call a uh, practitioner uh, at the university, whereas I actually work in the field uh, that I teach, and which is not that common among business faculty. A lot of us uh, work, work as consultants, uh, but I'm one of the few that actually has a business with dealing with customers day in and day out. I enjoy both the things that I do. I enjoy teaching at SEMO. I enjoy working here at the store. They complement each other. I get the opportunity to learn more about what the feelings, the things I'm interested in, marketing, consumer behavior, and retail, and I get to pass that on in my position as an instructor at SEMO. I get to practically apply it 
in, uh, my, in my business here at Castle Paris. I get a look and see, will this, what I have thought theoretically should affect consumer behavior, like offering so many items as choice, will that actually impact the, the consumer's uh, purchasing patterns or not? I've always said uh, I enjoy what I do, and the day I quit enjoying it is the day I walk away from it. And I have no plans of doing that anytime in the immediate future.